Okay, this is the first video out of two on understanding percent relationships using models. And this video focuses on discussing how to find the percent when shading certain parts of a model. Remember, the percent means per 100. A percent is a comparison of a number to 100. A percent is always a comparison to 100. This amount will never change. Percent means out of 100. Okay, this is nothing new. You've done this in elementary school. We've actually done it earlier in the year when we talked about fraction decimal percent conversions. But here we have a 10 by 10 grid, which means there are 100 squares. And they want us to color 36 of the squares. So you can use your pencil or a pen, or if you have a colored pencil, you can use that. So it can be any 36 squares that you want. I'm just going to make it easy. And each row is 10 squares. So I'm going to shade three rows to make 30. And then I need to shade six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So now I have shaded 36 squares. And I want to know what percent I've shaded. Well, I just shaded 36 out of 100. And percent means per 100, which that's what this is, 36 per 100. So my percent would be 36%. In our next example, again, there are 100 squares. It's a 10 by 10 grid. We want to color 12 of the squares. So this is going to be 10 squares, and 2 more makes 12. What percent is this? Well, I've just colored 12 out of the 100 squares. Is this per 100? It is per 100. So my 12, the amount that I've shaded, becomes my percent. But what happens when we don't have a 10 by 10 grid? In this example, we have a 5 by 5 grid, 5 by 5 grid, which means that there are 25 squares. And we want to color 12 of the squares. So here's 5, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, I've now colored 12 squares. Is my percent going to be 12%? Well, I just shaded 12, but was it 12 out of 100 squares? No, it was only 12 out of 25 squares. What I could do is I could copy my groups until I get 120 squares. So if I double it, I now have 50 squares. If I make another group, I have 75 squares. And one more group will make 100 squares. So if I add them all up, there's 12 shaded in this group plus 12 shaded here makes 24 plus 12 shaded makes 36, and add 12 more and you get 48. So now I have 48 out of 100 squares. Since this is 48 per 100, I can write this as 48%. So 12 squares out of 25 is equivalent to 48%. Okay, here's another example, same thing, there are 25 squares. This time we want to color 18 of them, so 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So I've shaded 18. Is it 18 out of 100 squares? No, it's only 18 out of 25 squares. So we could go and we could keep duplicating our groups or copying our groups until we have 100 total squares, or we can make it a little bit easier and use a proportion. I have 25 squares, but I need it to be out of 100 squares. So what can I do here? How can I turn this 25 into 100? We can use our scale factor of multiplying by 4. We have to use the same scale factor up here in the numerator. So 18 times 4 gives us 72. So now it's 72 per 100, which means that it is 72%. The next two examples. Here we're going to color 7 of the squares. So go ahead and do that, color 7, and then see if you can figure out what percent is shaded. Pause the video to do this and come back and see if you're right. Alright, here are 7 shaded squares. What percent? Well, this is going to be 7 out of, are there 100 squares here? No. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 4, so 5 times 4 is 20. So we've shaded 7 squares out of 20 but we need to figure out how many squares this would be out of 100. So use your scale factor. How do we turn the 20 into 100? Multiply by 5. Do the same thing to the numerator. 
7 times 5 is going to give us 35. This is 35 per 100, so we can now write that as the percent, 35 percent. Our next one, we just need to color one square. All right, this is pretty easy. This should be 1 percent, right? No, hopefully you said no. It's one shaded, but it's out of how many squares? 10. But we need this 10 to be 100. So if we were to duplicate these until we had 100 total squares, let's find out how many would be shaded. How do you turn the 10 into 100? Multiply it by 10. Do the same thing to the numerator. 1 times 10 is 10. Now this is 10 per 100, or 10%. In our last two examples, we're going to identify the percent shaded in each figure. So this time we don't have to do the shading, it's been done for us. If you look in our first example, we have three shaded, but it's three columns or three boxes out of how many total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three out of ten. We need to find the percent, so it has to be out of a hundred. Again, how do we turn that ten into a hundred? Multiply it by ten. Do the same thing to the 3. 3 times 10 is 30. Now that we have 30 per 100, we can write that 30 as our percent. And our last example. All right, how many squares are shaded? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I always try to put marks on those because sometimes it's easy when they're not next to each other to miscount. And how many total squares are there? Well, there's definitely not 100. So this is going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a 5 by 5, which makes 25 total squares. It's not going to be 7% because it's not 7 out of 100. We need to turn this 25 into 100. And you should know this, quarters, money, multiply by scale factor 4, do the same thing to the 7. 7 times 4 gives you the 28. Now that it's 28 per 100, that's going to be our percent, 28 percent. Okay, now you're ready for part 2.